This month is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. It's a national campaign to raise awareness about disability employment issues. One local organization says it is paramount people with disabilities have jobs. News 10's Patsy Kelly has one man's story who encourages others to pursue their dreams. This is Vincent Fister. Vincent has worked at the Indiana State University Recycling Center for seven years. He separates plastics from the other items people drop off at the center. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. But the difference between Vincent and the other workers he has Down syndrome. A lot of times individuals with disabilities, people don't understand that they truly have the ability to be a great employee. Brenda Tryon works at Mosaic, the organization where Vincent lives. It's an agency that helps and houses people with disabilities to provide them with a chance to make choices. She says people with disabilities need to work. The money that the government gives them is not a lot. So for them to be able to have a job and contribute to the community is important. But it's more than that. Having a job gives them confidence and self-worth. It is very important for his quality of life and for his self-esteem to make a contribution to the Terre Haute community. And he tells others, you know, how they can make a contribution to the community by telling them about his job and what he does. And he encourages individuals to utilize the skills that they have. Vincent even takes his work home with him. Since he started at the recycling center, Vincent takes a clean environment pretty seriously. I created some bins so that we can recycle and uh, then he brings the recycling from um, our uh, agency over to the recycling center. He, he's real excited about what he does and takes it very seriously. Brenda says they're thankful to the companies who employ people with disabilities because they can contribute more to the community than many realize. Individuals truly have a lot to offer that have disabilities and if they would open up and give them a chance that they would see that they would have a valuable employee. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Patsy Kelly, News 10. For more information about Mosaic or how you can help this organization and their goal, check out this story on our website, WTHITV.com.